Welcome once again to another face-to-face interview with Rockosaurus. Uh, today we are talking to Jamie Porter from the Jamie Porter Band. Welcome, Jamie. Yay! Good to see you. Hi, mate. mate. How are you? Yeah, not so bad. Not so bad. How's life with you? It's not as restricted as yours, I don't think, at the moment, because we're in sunny Wales and we've just had our lockdown lifted. Uh, oh, you lucky buggers. Yeah. We've been in two weeks, in a two-week one, so yeah, you guys are in a four-week one now, aren't you? We're in the full teeth of the lockdown. Oh, mate, it's it's getting so confusing. You know, I I used to think it was a one-country island, more or less, you know? uh, No chance. (laughs) It seems to be getting more divided. I think it is, yeah. Yeah. They'll they'll bring back the, the Yorkshire and... Lancashire line next, won't they? Oh, I think so, yeah. Yeah, I think they're going to build a wall just north of Watford, actually. It's, uh, oh, that as well, yeah, north-south. Yorkshire, <laughs> Lancashire. What else can we do? I don't know. <laughs> Isle of Wight. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, Jamie, um, yeah, so you've got, you've got a new single out, I understand. Yeah. Uh, yeah. How's things going with that? It's going really good, actually. It's kind of new, anyway. Um I originally released it at the beginning of the year um, and I didn't really focus on the promotion of it uh, as much as I should have done really um, and it was it was released sort of just before lockdown, the first lockdown. So here I come, which I find quite funny and ironic, with this single Ready for Action, with this great Ready for Action, Ready for Action shout, you know. And then we go into lockdown and the whole industry collapses. And I'm just thinking, oh, my God, have I jinxed it? <laughs> so anyway, yeah, in between or after that, um, I started working with uh, John Craig from the Forge Music Group, which is a, a new initiative. I don't know if you've heard of them, based in North Liverpool. and But he has bands that he works with from all over the country. So, yeah, I started working with him and... Um, put a single out uh, in August called Where We Belong, which was kind of a song that was inspired by, you know, our the way that live music, and in particular for me, the rock community is brought together uh, with music. On the whole, you know, I know there's because of we're arguing and margy bargies, but on the whole, it brings us together. So, uh, and all, of course, live music as well. You know, it's live music that brings us together as, um, you know, when you're hearing the band playing a great song on stage, it's like, oh, it's so euphoric, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. So, yeah, so that's what that song influenced by the current situation, if you like. Lift you up where you And then we decided to remix and re-release Ready for Action again, but this time with with their help and, you know, send it out a bit further. And, um, yeah, and it's been pretty good, really. I mean, the, the song Ready for Action, although in the, lyrically it's kind of a nod back to, um, I, well, I kind of put it in, in the script that I sent out to people as... as uh, in the in the seventies, when you know there's a lot more factory harsh factory work, and you clock in, and you know you'd be just thinking about the weekend or the evening when you can go rocking and dancing, drinking your beers. You know, in in a simpler time, you know, before the internet and everything else, you know, that was the entertainment. Yeah. So the song was essentially, you know, it's a rock and roll song. You know, I'm ready for action, babe. It's, that's that's one side of the reason I wrote it, and the other reason was because. Um, I'd had a, I've been really unwell in 2019. I've had like a, a physical and mental collapse. Um, and I was virtually bedridden for, I don't know, six to eight months. I could hardly, I did, I did do one gig and I recorded an acoustic album in a day 
but I was so unwell doing doing it that um, you know I couldn't focus on writing. I couldn't play the guitar. It was like everything was. I couldn't focus. Couldn't concentrate. And it was terrible. Yeah. When so when people talk about mental health and stuff now, I kind of I totally I totally get it because yeah. looking back now, I see that overthinking and struggling with things for years, you know, uh, and, uh, but I'm obviously, as you can see now, I'm, you know, ready for action. Ready for action! Uh, yeah, I'm loads better. And uh, yeah, even, yeah, um, I used to be afraid to promote myself, my music, not wishing to bother people with it, you know, but now I'm, I'm writing to everybody. I come across on Facebook and stuff and say, "Hey, have you checked out my song?" Or say hello first, and then, and then you know, and actually, it's going really well. I'm having a fantastic response doing that. Um, but also, really good radio play with it. We were on Planet Rock last night and yeah. previous Monday night, so it's it's got loads of independent radio stations loving it as well, which is great. Um, so a lot of radio play uh, happening with it. But yeah, so it, it was sort of a double message in the song, you know, when I actually managed to write that song just before Christmas last year. You describe yourselves as blues rock with a country swagger. That's <laughs> an interesting um, Actually, that is, that's, that, um, we don't describe ourselves as that. Um, we, would, we were doing something, I can't remember what it was. I don't know if it was some Facebook group and we got picked for a playlist. But um, it was something to do. I don't know if you've heard of Rockstar PR. Yeah. They, they deal with, I think they work with the RB magazine and also uh, work with Verity White. Yeah. Um, but they put a load of bands on their website with a little bit about them. And on it, they put that blues yeah. rock with a little bit of country swagger. Yeah. And I thought, that is cool. I like that. So I've, I've nicked it off. So thanks, Rockstar PR. Uh, for that, um, uh, for that little bit that of nugget, <laughs> yeah, that nugget actually, uh, yeah. So that's that's where it's come from. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, and I I like it. Um, but, but I kind of influence wise, yeah, it's there is a country feel to it. You know, I've got I've got so many country rock, blues rock, classic rock, um, metal influences. It's it's uh, untrue. Really, you know, I've, for years I spent I spent so many years wanting to be certain guitarists. You know, I used to, I used to love, well, I still do really, but I just maybe not revisited them. You know, Iron Maiden. Um, you know, I was sort of Gary Moore, uh, Steve Vai. You know, all the Paul Gilbert, all the sort of guitarists you can think of that yeah. the big main. Uh, you know. Richie Sambora, and loads of others as well, from Tony McAlpine. You know, so I, I used to go through all this sort of confusion of all this technique and stuff, and I was thinking, I'm never going to get as good as these guys. Um, so, I don't know, I just... I just... Uh, I'm a bit of a late starter, to be honest, on my own stuff. Mm. I'm just uh, sort of only about eight, eight years ago that I sort of thought I came out of a band that... I put a lot of time into and it hadn't, you know, it's the, the old story, you know, it had all gone, gone wrong and not gone in the same direction. So I thought, oh, sorry, I'm going to do my own thing. And I was going to try and go out under a band name and do, and do stuff. But all the cool names have been taken already. <laughs> so, well, there's nothing wrong with putting, hanging your name over. So, well, yeah. Well, I, I just thought I put up in my flag to the, you yeah. know, but it's not, it wasn't an ego trip sort of thing it's just like i mean it's, to me i think oh my god it doesn't sound rock and, rock and roll enough anyway you know it's sort of like but in this modern day and age nobody else had it on google and nobody else had it so if you put jamie porter band or jamie porter music into google straight away it comes up you know with all that, yeah and they face it they've been far far worse band names out there you know yeah, uh, they, the they, actually, yeah. Like, like lover boy where did that come from you know i mean Whoever came up with a name like that for a rock band? Yeah, yeah, that's, this is very true. Absolutely. I mean, every name probably sounds stupid 
But I see there are bands now that are out, you know, because obviously there's a bit of a shortage of decent band names, really. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's it's like um, there's a lot of crows around, isn't there, at the moment? Mm. Ravens and that sort of thing. Yeah. You know, variation. I mean, it's, they're great names, um, yeah. great bands. And, but, you know, when you, I, I can't think of ones, but there's, there are some I, I pick and I think, yep, yeah, I'd write loads down and it'd be, and I check online and, oh, that's gone. Oh, that's that's gone. gone. I mean, I know some people do, do it and say UK, don't they? Or, yeah. you know, the UK version of the band, but I, I couldn't be bothered with doing, doing that, so. Nah. Well, people can find you. That's the thing. And well, you know, obviously, we found you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, keep doing what you're doing because it's obviously working. I yeah. Mean, I mean, listening listening to your sound. I mean, it's um, yeah. You can hear the blues rock influences there, um, with that country undertone on occasion. I yeah. Mean, it's it's not always there. It, it's, certain songs have got a little bit of that in it, but. Uh, what in, what's interesting to me is even it almost verges on melodic rock at times as well, you know, and you've got that sort of unique style. Yeah, it, you know, it's not like anybody else. That's that which is, I think, a very important thing uh, because there are so, so many bands who are, you know, <laughs> yeah, not, well, like, not copying other people, but you know, they, they sound similar. But, no, yeah. that's right. I suppose. I suppose though, if you get a band together, because I write the, the songs, you know, that's it started off as a songwriting project. That's what I was doing when I left the previous band, and it was just like a toe, dipping a toe in the water. Uh, but I, just the way I felt that it should it should run. Um, but I always intended to play live because I love playing live. Um, but yeah, if, I suppose if you've got a group of lads who are heavily influenced say by um guns and roses or bon jovi for example and that's then they're going to take you know they're going to take a lot out of that style yeah. into their music aren't they so so and and maybe that's the, the sort of area niche that's a word that keeps coming up these days is niches um it, it's an area and that's that's cool i mean as i say this fantastic music out there at the moment it's crazy that we have such a closed music scene uh, or barriered again you know with with all this decent great rock music out there and we have nothing getting through into into the mainstream you know well this, this is it unfortunately it's um yeah it's controlled by the suits and the money isn't it i mean yeah, so, yeah. and the tv ratings these days yeah. as well isn't it but <laughs> I've, I suppose, you know, because I've sort of started writing my material late, um, if you like, I love, as I say, uh, I told you some of the guitarists I like, but, I, you know, I love melodic rock. I love um, sort of Def leopard Bon Jovi, um, Foo Fighters, you know, that sort of Guns N' Roses, you know, anything that's got a good, you know, a lot of this, all the, um, I'm a massive fan of Dan Baird and um, the Georgia Satellites as well. I sort of grew up with that sort of three-chord rock and roll and status quo. Uh, and I love that, that stuff. So to me, writing a song, um, it, it, I don't really think, I just write what comes out. That's the way I do it. And I don't, I don't really, I'm not bothered, you know, about fitting into, that's, that's what it, I think it was. I wasn't bothered about fitting into a particular style if you like so i think i think there's there is far too much emphasis on trying to categorize bands and saying you know they are that particular subgenre yeah. far yeah. too much you know it's either either it's, it's good music or it's not you know that that's the bottom line and the, you know and they, I, I, I wish people would stop trying to categorize so much yeah, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, good, okay you can say something is blues rock because you can hear the blues influences in it, but it, but it's rock and roll. Yeah, I mean, all, all rock and roll comes from blues originally, anyway. But. Yeah, well, I, I mean, you know, blues rock with country swagger. I was saying that to something somebody the other day. Actually, that's just a long-winded way of saying rock and roll. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It is, isn't it? It's, it's just so that's what I kind of we're we're a rock and roll band, really, and that's yeah. 
Well, let's let's not, you know, why do people have to overcomplicate matters? You know, let's keep exactly. Just... I'm not big on overcomplicating. No, 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 my, no. my personality, and you know, uh, you know, I used to get comments about my songs being generic and uh, that sort of stuff, but it's what I like, you know, I, and I love a, a big hook that I can sing along to, you know, who doesn't? I, that's why I don't stand, you know, any, anybody knocking somebody for, you know, if it's a riff or whatever, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just, that's what, get, when it gets you on the back of the neck and, hmm. and lifts you then, you, then you're on the right path. So, yeah. you know, I'm just, I'm just sort of starting now. I've had such a great reaction this week on social media, not just from the, the sort of, uh, radio rock shows but from people who have come across the the band the music that's the song and and looked into other other songs and and have really you know they've left such kind comments so I, I'm, I'm really appreciative of that you know it, it's really great um and it's it makes it all worthwhile i'm a quite stubborn and i've i've kept it going quite a long time you know obviously not as long as the other but i've had a lot of sort of been ignored but um we keep going and it's me and danny the bass player is my middle son right and he's 18 in a couple of weeks oh no it's not a couple of weeks it's sunday ah you so, I better not forget that you won't no, be no, I, yeah yeah i'm not, I'm not going to forget it really i'm just <laughs> um, yeah so and he's been with me, he's been playing music with me since he was 11 He's, he was on bass when he was 11. Same bass he's got now. It was, it was my bass when I played. And, and uh, it was bigger than him then. He started off on bass and then he we had a five piece for a while. And then uh, he was on keyboards in that. And then another change, we went to a four piece and he was on keyboards and guitar. And uh, then we had more changes and then he's back on bass again. Yeah. And yeah, so... We're still at a three piece at the moment, but I think we I'm looking to change it to a to a four piece again because I want to bring the keyboards back in yeah. live. So I'll probably bring Daniel back in, Danny back in on the on guitar and on the keyboards again, just so that we've got a you know, a, a wider a more representative sound, if you like, to because uh, I love the old Hammond and piano and stuff. And, oh yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so yeah, that's a buzz. Yeah, <laughs> so yeah, so it's. I mean, yeah, it's it's just sort of, and then we we do we occasionally do a few covers in our own style as well. Well, but not a covers band. I haven't, uh, so that's kind of made things hard working around here because it's such in North Wales, such a cover band based area. You know, there's not much uh, call for uh, the old originals. Yeah, yeah, but, but you, yeah, you need to come over the border for that, really. Don't yeah, you? yeah, yeah. I'm going to bust across the border. I'm going to bust the the county line. Yeah, and I. Uh, and I'm going to get over there. I mean, to be honest, we've had so many, you know, when are you coming down recently? When are you coming down to play near us? Or, you know, it'd be great to get get you sort of a gig. So, you know, it, that's encouraging as well. And Absolutely. Yeah, definitely. And, uh, I mean, our, our management have got a few. Um, they're setting up some gigs of their own, like all days or for next year and touch wood. It's yeah. gonna, it, we're going to get back to some sort of live stuff again, and 
So yeah, we've got some penciled in, but uh, I'm sure there'll be more more coming up. Because I've got a, a you know I've got a rig here that needs exercise. Absolutely, yeah. yeah you can't really gather in dust, do you? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, it is at the moment. I've been dusting all day today. <laughs> You played an acoustic set at uh, Breaking Bands. Uh, oh uh, yeah, yeah. How did that go? That was that. Would that be, have been your last live performance? Or no, it wasn't. Li- it wasn't live. It was a pre-recorded right. thing. It's up on our YouTube channel if anybody wants to check it out. But um, yeah, it was pre-recorded. A lot of these for these online festivals are pre-recorded slots. I suppose you know if it if it was live, all sorts of problems could emerge, couldn't it? You know so. <laughs> So uh, I think I think uh, most of it's pre-recorded, but it was we did it specially for that. I think there was a competition to play it, and we had to send in or apply, and they kindly asked us to play, which was cool. And yeah, I think we only did I did six six songs. the dynamic of acoustic um, mm-hmm. myself and, and Danny and Pete as well and when we can get Pete who's a relatively new you know very new drummer uh, for us but when we can get him down with the lockdown you know he's he comes along and plays as well but um, yeah Daniel and I love love acoustic piano acoustic or whatever you know the variants and I've always whenever I've written a song I've always thought how oh, about be brilliant you know as an acoustic no, you know, big piano number, I and mean, it, it is really uplifting in different ways to be able to to be able to play stuff like that. As and as an, another example of a great band doing that, um, Empire mm-hmm. with their new acoustic track, which is an old, isn't it, an old one that they had. You know, and that that one, well, that's fantastic. I really was impressed with that that song. Yeah. So well done, Empire. I'm sure um, they're doing. I'm yeah, sure they're yeah. doing well with that. Yeah, I mean, it, it, uh, it's often a measure of a band when they can do a great acoustic set. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I mean, I remember seeing Blackstone Cherry actually at um, Shepherd's Bush Empire when they did their, um, um, yeah, Kentucky Experience. Oh, all right, yeah. Um, I mean, there were no support acts, it was just they come on, came on and did a full acoustic set, then they go off for it for the interval, and then they come back on with a full electric set. Um, what a phenomenal night that was! You know, I'll bet, I'll I was I was kind of t- I was trying to do. Uh, we were actually booked in to a local. Uh, it's not a, it's not. A, well, it is a bar as such in in North Wales. Here we actually booked in in a- April. Yeah. To do a, an evening there, and that, that was going to be the same a similar thing. That's what I decided I was going to. We were going to do like a half acoustic set. To, start the evening because it was quite a close closed you know small venue intimate venue anyway so i thought we'd do a an acoustic to start with and then finish it off with as you say an electric yeah set. I think it's, a, it's a good format actually because it, you know the acoustic work really does show your chops you know and then yeah. you can blow people away with the electric set yeah that's i mean it shows danny's chops when, it, when we do the acoustics i just strum no, well, I mean it was, it, it. It's a different. It's a different um, w- way of even projecting your voice mm. and reaching notes. 
yeah. you know, and we interpret obviously some of some songs where you know maybe when we've got the electric, the full electric kit going, we can you know push our voices for the song, but then we adjust them obviously for the acoustic set sometimes just to um, try and but well, it it gives a different flavour anyway. It's like cooking, yeah, I'm crap at cooking, but with uh, with right with, when you're doing a song or you know it's it's the ingredients it's the layers it's the the flavors of, of it absolutely so if you, so if you got uh, if you got new stuff in the pipeline any thoughts of another album what what where are you headed uh, I've I've always got new stuff in the pipeline um, it's it's getting distracted with things like single releases and mm. the you know trying to promote at the moment so I haven't done much writing. Recently, I've got um, lots of loads of different things uh, going on. Um, there's plans for an EP, but it might turn into an album. But it could be, a, or it could be a big EP or a small album next year, um, early next year, or in the you know, sort of March, April time, maybe. Um, I do have dates, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Um, and I'm going to be announcing that relatively soon. Anyway, um, and that's that's going to be an EP called Ready for Action. Ready for Action! So it's going to be a CD, and it might be just an exclusively CD release. Um, anyway, because some t I've got algorithms or what, algorithm or whatever you call them to be. What are they called, those things? Oh, algorithms. Oh, yes. that's the one, yeah. yeah the one. Algorithms. <laughs> yeah so anyway i'm at war with them absolutely musicians we are at war <laughs> against i'm sure i heard the other day that spotify wants to cut the amount they give to musicians i'm hoping it was oh. fake news i'm sorry but how do you cut bugger all into yeah, bugger all? I mean, point no 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 yeah. it's not it's it I, I, i'm noticing a lot of bands going Going off that now, anyway. Yeah. But and trying to get people to come to their websites direct. But yeah, um, so we've got that coming up. Um, ready for action EP. Or um, there is a possibility that we might re-release Sonic Smile. It's been remixed, uh, not remastered yet. So uh, that is a possibility as well. With a a rebrand and yeah. just just to boot it out there again. Um, this is with. With the manage the management, um, I'm in the process of putting um, a pre-order together for our acoustic album, acoustic CD. Mm -hmm. So that I'm hoping to get out in the next. Uh, it might be in the beginning of December, yeah, or it might be in the new year, depending on. <laughs> but yeah, a lot of people have asked for that, so I'm 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 sort of um, work just working out the logistics and yeah. costs and stuff and so that that's definitely but that, I, that's that was something i wanted to do anyway so yeah that was a 10 track um album and we record danny and i went into the studio i think i mean last april yeah i, I was i was seriously unwell and we just went in and I could. I, I. I was having trouble remembering the words and remembering the chords. To be honest, it, you wouldn't. Yeah, you, you wouldn't believe the state. Um, but and the, and to be honest, you know, I mean, once I got and sang the songs, it was okay. But the effort was was horrendous yeah. needed. But it was a lot harder work than than usual. You know. Sure. Um, so, so we did this, and I, I sort of. I, I sort of uh, you, this. This is so that that was so my my uh, initial album cover. Yeah, I that I designed, um, and it says uh, the acoustic sessions volume one. Yeah, because um, we were going back in the studio a few months after, and we were going to do another. Um, but I went in. We went in again to do the second part, and I think. I started about three songs mm. and I had to say to the guy, I can't, I can't do this. I can't, yeah. I'm just not well enough. And, and so, yeah, so a bit unfortunate, but, but there you go. So story behind the, uh, the recording. Yeah. But yeah. 
but, but you found your way through that 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 phase. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. But you know, it's it's it was it's obviously you know been such a big part, if you like that 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 physical collapse as well. Just I was like a zombie sat in front of the TV a lot, you know, for yeah. a long time. Just it was it was horrendous. Yeah, uh, and that was without any medication. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you know um but yeah so that's that one we're going to put onto cd mm. um i've got some i've got a couple of eps back catalog that um they're sort of 2014 and they're they're sort of there's a few songs on there we'd like to redo um you know bring bring up to date a bit there's still you know we play a lot of them live uh still and yeah it's it, it's kind of cool there's, there's there's a relatively varied bit if you go a bit further back to um if you're if you're listening online to to our stuff the um that i suppose is where it goes a little it gets a little bit more countryfied initially because I, I thought i would grow old semi-respectively and do country rock why? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, just, it, was just a place, it was a place I was in at the time. Yeah. But the thing is, when I stick on a guitar, then, you know, I, I can't do that sort of, yeah. that sort of thing. I, I, I like the, the noisy stuff. So, yeah, so it's kind of progressing a little bit back into rock and roll. But, yeah. you know, yeah. it's... That's where you belong. That's where you belong. Yeah. yeah. That's it. You need to check that single out. Yeah. Where we belong. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so um, obviously, social media is a big sort of influencer these days. It's uh, important for, for, um, for bands to be out there um, interacting with people. Uh, can you tell us where we can find you on, on sure. social? Yeah. Well, as I said earlier, uh, if you stick Jamie Porter Band into Google, you'll find everything. Um, but <laughs> yes, if you, uh, we're www.jamieporterband.com the website and we've got a lot of uh, links and stuff on on there and if you if you find the website please sign up to the mailing list i'm trying to build that up <clears throat> as well so that we can contact people directly um because unfortunately facebook which is jamie porter band uh is is restricting posts and every band is having that problem at the moment and i think a lot more bands are directing people direct to the website yeah um yeah you can also find us on all the sort of uh we're on twitter jamie porter band instagram although i, I need to get a bit more updated with that I, I, I sort of like click 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 you know hi this is hi you know I, i'm still getting <laughs> getting used to that i've just started doing a bit on youtube uh sort of uh i say a bit just a couple of videos uh with the launch of the single um yeah and then youtube obviously yeah jamie porter band uh we've got every everything all most of the music i think is on there um that we have out currently and also your digital distribution spotify amazon itunes apple music yeah visa tidal yeah i don't even know half of these yeah. but i know people do use so yeah, any any of that. If you're on it, please you know subscribe, give us a like. If you like something, give us a comment. You know, absolutely. If you don't like it, don't bother. Just just, just unlike move, it. Move along. Yeah, yeah, move, yeah, 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 yeah. Go go for <laughs> something that you do like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, but you know you can't you can't win everybody though because you know you're not you're not heavy enough. You're not smart enough. You're not pretty enough. Who cares? Well, yeah, that's, <laughs> it, yeah. that's it. Yeah, yeah. It, it comes out of the music at the end of the day. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah that's the important thing. But. but you know, everybody's got a different story, a different journey, and I think you know, mine's really just starting, really. And yeah. well, yeah. it, it, you've made a damn good start. I've got to tell you. I mean, I, it's. Uh, thanks, so mate. I appreciate that. You know, it's. Uh, it's it's nice, and also having you know my son on board as well as a family. It's like a family band, you know, and uh, I mean, Pete, he's like family as well. He's like, he's like a oh, great uncle. Uh, no, no, I never said that, Pete. You know. <laughs> we love you. 
<laughs> I mean, it, you know, it's uh, I've loved it, listening to your stuff, mate, and it's um, yeah, oh, it's been an absolute joy. So uh, uh, I just can't wait for things to get back to some sort of semblance of normal, so you yeah. can get over our way and um, give us a blast. Yeah, well, yeah, I'd love to get down and play there. I have been trying, but since you know, since I've had a few more offers since uh, I've been working with this man with uh, Four Jump and with John. And uh, I think, you know, we'll get stuff moving. Jamie, it's been an absolute delight speaking to you, mate. You've been Absolutely. great fun. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, cheers, Nick. We look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah. Cheers, Andy. Cheers, Nick. Thanks a lot. I'm not sending you any of my naked pictures, no. No, please don't. Why do you want to see my naked pictures?